What's going on guys, it's Michael of GF, and today I'm going to be doing, I guess, what you can consider a custom LEGO minifigure showcase video on my new Baby Groot from Guardians of the Galaxy's mid credit scene, and uh, yeah, so I was definitely not planning on making this, I mean, I wanted to after seeing Guardians for the first time while I was at Brick Fair in Virginia back in August, but uh, I just kind of never did, and then I saw LEGO's new Rocket Raccoon poly bag that they're going to be releasing at, uh, which will be showing up at Toys R Us's here soon, and uh, it's already in Canada by the way, but it has Rocket in his Ravager outfit that we saw toward the end of Guardians of the Galaxy, and uh, it also has Lego's own portrayal of Baby Groot, which is unfortunate looking, so <laughs> I basically said, okay, that's enough, it's time that I do this, and uh, I, it needed to be done. So I sculpted my own Baby Groot and fully painted the entire damn thing. However this happened, I don't know how it happened, but it did, so without further ado, let's get started. Alright, so here we go with Baby Groot, and this is easily going down as the smallest thing I've ever showcased on my channel. Like, this breaks the freaking record, and once again, even if you can consider him a minifigure, but, uh, yeah, so we're to begin with Baby Groot here. I guess we can go ahead and start off with the scale if I have something, uh, like this. This would be good. Uh, Brick Ultra, this is the uh, Brick Ultra Ultron head, and uh, you can pretty much get an idea by me putting a minifigure head next to it just about how, how small Baby Groot is. And uh, so it was definitely pretty interesting to sculpt a little a little being uh, at this scale. So, um, I mean, this is uh, it's pretty self-explanatory for the most part. Obviously, this is entirely sculpted by me and uh, fully painted by me, but uh, one, of, one of the main things that made me hesitate about uh, making Baby Groot in the first place was that I didn't necessarily have something that I would consider, you know, you, you know, that I would want to use for the pot. So uh, then I was digging through my uh, container full of like third party accessories. And when I say third party, I mean like Brick Arms, Brick Forge, Minifig Cat, Eclipse Graphics, you know, things like that. And uh, I was going through the Brick Forge section and I came across some transparent black warning lights that I had ordered from Brick Forge a while ago. And uh, then I was like, okay, that's Baby Groot's pot and let's do this. That was the last thing I needed to motivate me. And then I got started two days later. Here he is. And holy crap. It was, it, like I keep saying, it was a very interesting process, um, and the process was done in sections, so uh, in order, it was uh, the center of the pot, where like where Groot actually is sitting, He uh, that was sculpted in first, and then the body, uh, the head, and then the top of the uh, of the head being like the, you know, like the tree roots, and then uh, the arms and hands all done separately after that, and then obviously the vines were added on last, uh, like underneath his arms, so uh, it was a, it was a disjointed process, but obviously it would have fallen apart if I tried it would just it would not it's not why I sculpt something like this all at once so uh, it still turned out really great and the face was pretty interesting for me to paint because the face required a lot of precision I did not think I would get those pupils right but thankfully I did and they turned out awesome and uh, I think I've nailed the adorableness of baby group pretty well so uh, hopefully you guys agree and I tried to paint on a pretty decent amount of black lines all throughout baby Groot here and a wide variety of green tints um, but the one thing I did not want to do was overwhelm the accessory with black lines like at one point I actually had black lines running all across his face and then I looked at the reference pictures and I'm like okay this is too much so I made sure that the face looked a lot uh, less you know it was not I didn't want to didn't want to that words I did not want it covered in lines is what I was trying to say there words uh, are not with me but um yeah so another thing I do want to address before we conclude this is that uh, the hands were initially I was considering doing like actual hook hands for Groot but then I was like uh yeah if I were to do that they would probably break uh, the second I touch them or something worse because you cannot make Lego hands that small unless they're plastic in injected and, and expect them not to break so I basically did what you see here and tried to do my best to like basically give him fingers and um I think I still think it turned out pretty awesome and um yeah so other than that though you can see I have the uh, actual pot is painted in a light gray color as accurate to the appearance in the movie and you can't actually tell but the soil on top of uh of the pot actually has a few little brown highlights running through it as well to just give it a little bit more of added detail but uh yeah so um this happened and I am pretty glad that it did because uh this is probably and maybe not but this is basically the one last thing I wanted to do for Guardians of the Galaxy. I mean, I made all the figures I wanted to, but this, after seeing that mid credit scene, this was really missing, so I, I'm glad that I eventually did end up wanting to do this after seeing Lego's horrible uh, little, like, it's not even Baby Groot, it's more of like a stem in a pot on a plate. It is the weirdest thing ever, but uh, yeah, so that's pretty much it though for my fully sculpted and fully hand-painted Baby Groot, and uh, yeah, so that's it. And uh, let's go ahead and wrap up this video. 
I'm Groot. Alright guys, so that about wraps up the showcase video on my custom Lego Baby Groot and hi, uh, yeah, so if you enjoyed the showcase video and maybe found yourself inspired to make your own Baby Groot, then be sure to let me know by dropping this video a like below and or your opinion in the comments as both of which definitely mean a lot and definitely go a long way because this is easily the smallest thing I've ever had to sculpt and the smallest face I've ever had to paint. So it was definitely pretty interesting for me to sculpt and paint. So uh, like I said, your support is definitely appreciated, man. You can also follow me on the Twitter and the book face links to both of those are always in the description below as well and there I post all kinds of behind the scenes photos and updates and other stuff that I'm working on at the moment a lot of which being Achievement Hunter Micro Mobs and The Flash from the new CW series and, and Black Canary and Arsenal also from a CW series Arrow and things like that and also Halo figures I'm going to be showing in like a couple weeks so I'm doing a bunch of stuff a lot of which is not has not made it to my channel yet so that's why I always recommend you go over there because like I always say it is a lot easier to post a photo than it is to fully record and edit an entire video so yeah but that's pretty much it for my words in this video and the visualizations you have experienced and uh, I think that is about it though for what will hopefully not be my last Guardians of the Galaxy figure, we will see, but once again I'm not really sure if you can consider this a figure, this was more of just an accessory but an awesome one, I don't know, but that's really about it for this video guys and uh, I'll catch you later, alright, bye! Alright, so here we go. Oh my god, look at how much he just freaking shook. A custom Lego minifigure showcase video on my new Baby Groot from the mid credit scene of Guardians... Uh, why did I stop? My, uh, once again, I guess what you can consider, uh, custom... Hey, I'm back. Guy, why you do this? What? Guy, why? What's happening? You know what's happening. You, you, you just... Guy. Why? Oh, are you record? Oh, sorry your head right next to him so that gives that you know that gives you wow there are no strings on me wait <laughs>